Welcome again to um, Bob's Health Talk. Um, this is the second episode and we're going to talk about stroke, um, also known as CVA. Um, what is a stroke? Basically, a stroke is um, an accident that affects the blood vessels in the brain and it could be in two ways. One, there could be um, a vessel that busts open and therefore causes a bleeding stroke also known as hemorrhagic stroke or it could be a clot that um, travels to the brain and clogs um, an artery or, or that, that supplies a section of the brain. This causes the section um, that are supplied with that artery to um, die within minutes. So um, how do you know that you're having a stroke or what are the signs and symptoms of, of, of possible stroke? I'm going to use this acronym called um, or, or an acronym be fast b e f a s t be fast and the first b stands for balance so if you all, all of a sudden you lose balance and you're walking you're not able to walk well and you're just losing direction in terms of of, of, of your balance that's um something that is concerning um e is for um your eyes or vision and so if you all of a sudden develop um blurry vision on one particularly on one side of your eye um, that will be concerning. Um, an F um, would be for face. So this is um, a facial droop. If you develop a facial droop, one-sided facial droop, um, or just a, um, a scenario where you find that your tongue, or when you stick out your tongue, it's, it kind of like deviates to one side, or if you look at your mouth, it kind of like deviates to um, one side. You might also feel some numbness or tingling on one side of your face. That's concerning for a stroke, and especially if it's an, um, a sudden um, onset. The A is for um, arm, and this is more like arm weakness or numbness or tingling in just one side of your arm. That could also be a sign of the stroke. Um, the um, S is for speech, and if you're having um, slight speech or you're just having um, difficulty looking for words when that is not your norm, and this is a sudden occurrence, that should ring a bell that should make you um, think of um, a possibility of a stroke. Um, the T in fast is for just time and, and this is more like saying that um, time is of essence. It's, it's important that you react or, or, or you take action as soon as you have um, suspicion or you experience some of these symptoms abruptly. And like I said, um, it takes minutes for that section of the brain that is affected to um, for those cells to die. So, what are the risk factors of of, of, of a stroke? Like how how do people get stroke, or how do you um, um, get concerned that you might have a stroke? So, I always talk about um, modifiable factors, factors that you can modify, and then the things that you cannot modify, the things that you can just kind of like you know you're born with it or it's just um um just the age or stuff that you cannot change so what are the things that we can change or what are these things that can be modified one of, that will put you at risk of getting a stroke one of them is hypertension so if you have high blood pressure you want to be sure that it's controlled it's not controlled and one day it could cause one of your arteries in the brain to bust open and therefore you, you end up having a hemorrhagic stroke um the other one is obesity just you know being overweight as um, to the point where you're um, a level of, of, of um, a category where you're considered obese, um, those those two are still considered modifiable. Diabetes, if you have diabetes that is not controlled, that puts you at risk of getting a stroke. Um, high cholesterol, again, that's something that you really want to check almost every year with your um, labs to be sure that it's, it's under control. If not, that um, the plaque, so cholesterol is basically a plaque, and that plaque could break loose and, and, and travel to the brain and, and cause a blockage in the brain and that ends up giving you a stroke. Um, the other one is our habits like smoking. Smoking puts at risk of getting a stroke and also um, excessive um, use of alcohol. So if you're drinking too much, too much alcohol, that could also cause um, a stroke. Now, what are these things that we have no control over? And this is sad, but it, it, it is what it is. And, 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 you know, we can do a few things to um, decrease the risk of, of getting a stroke based on, 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 on what these things are. One of them is age. So advanced age, if you're older, then the older you get, the, um, the risk it becomes for you to get a stroke. Um, 
I'm not going to go into the details of why that is so, but just, just know that if you're older, then, then, then you get a risk, your risk of getting a stroke are higher. Um, the other one is um, if you had a prior history of strokes, then, of course, there's a chance that you will get another stroke down the road. So if you had a stroke, then you want to be on preventative medications that help prevent strokes, especially depending on what kind of stroke you had or what caused your stroke. If your stroke was from, say, um, um, high cholesterol, then you, you want to control your cholesterol. If it was from, you know, your blood pressure was high and it caused um, an aneurysm that, you know, passed in your brain, then you want to control your blood pressure. The other one that is, um, you know, is, is kind of like on the women's side is postmenopausal um, stage. So for those um, women that have gone um, through menopause, then the risk of, of getting a stroke is, 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 you know, slightly higher than, you know, women that are premenopausal. Um, so those are key things that are, those are you know, some some three um, areas that are uncontrolled or not uncontrolled, but kind of like you don't have um, so much sway as to um, how to um, decrease the risk other than taking preventative um, measures. So um, there are um, effects or, or, or basically um, what are these things that you end up with after getting a stroke? One, it could be... Um, it could range from mild to um, severe effects or severe um, what we call residual um, um, symptoms. So one, you could recover fully from a stroke. If you had one-sided weakness, you could, um, over time, you could do physical therapy or physiotherapy and you could recover fully. Um, sometimes um, there are, you know, residual symptoms that are mild and, and sometimes, you know, they're severe and people lose um mobility completely they they are bedridden and, and they'll never um you know get out of that and so you really want to be um careful you know and, and do whatever it takes to prevent um things that will cause a stroke um the other thing that i wanted to talk about in terms of, of you know the other thing that causes a stroke that i wanted to talk about was um arrhythmias heart arrhythmias so there are um sometimes you might have some um rhythms heart rhythms that are not regular it's called afib and, and and that can also cause a stroke so um those are things that when you want you go to your doctors you want them to listen to your heart and, and, and you know be sure that it's it's it, it's pumping regularly there's um there was um this kind of stroke that we call the mini stroke and, and and i wanted to talk about touch on it just slightly so what is a mini stroke? It's called a TIA, and, and a, a, a TIA is more like a transient ischemic um, um, stroke. So it's more like a, 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 a you know a passing stroke, and it, it's a warning sign that you, you know down the road you 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 are vulnerable to um, getting an actual stroke. So it's a stroke that does not leave um, a damage. Okay, so you might have a sudden blood revision and just over you know after a minute it goes away or you might have you know all these symptoms that i talked about a stroke but they resolve over you know you know short duration of time so there's no permanent damage there's no it doesn't last a longer duration of time and so it's called um a transient a transient um um ischemic um yeah, accident so um that's what i wanted to um, kind of like enlighten um you on um strokes um, next time I learn not to promise to bring um, specific topics because it, sometimes I just get um, excited about certain topics and then I don't um, I realize that it's not really what I need to kind of like put in front of the banner right now. Um, until then, bye.